Hello everyone, welcome back and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Today we've got some significant updates to cover, including the latest round of checks for November going out to specific social security beneficiaries. We'll dive into who's eligible for these payments. Plus, with the 2024 presidential election now less than a year away, Democrats are urging Joe Biden to take bold steps regarding social security, and we'll be exploring that as well. But before we delve into the main content, if you could spare a moment to give this video a like, it goes a long way in supporting the channel through the intricate workings of the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more insightful updates. Now let's jump into the details. As we inch closer to the 2024 presidential election, the anticipation builds, with Joe Biden and Donald Trump emerging as potential head-to-head -head contenders. Democrats are urging Biden to go big on Social Security, seeking to draw a clear distinction between their stance and that of the Republicans. Progressives within the party are pushing for an expansion of Social Security benefits, viewing it as a move that would resonate well with the electorate, especially seniors who prioritize Social Security as a key issue. Political maneuvering in recent months has led to informal discussions among Democrats about endorsing a plan to expand Social Security benefits. The proposal aims to capitalize on the popularity of Social Security among voters, particularly seniors, and create a stark contrast with Republicans who have pledged to avoid cuts, presenting Biden as a staunch supporter of the cherished social insurance program. Reflecting on a pivotal moment in Biden's State of the Union address, where he successfully extracted a promise from GOP lawmakers to exclude entitlement cuts in the upcoming debt ceiling showdown, Democrats see an opportunity for Biden to build on his negotiating prowess. The proposed expansion of Social Security benefits could serve as a strategic move in the run-up to the 2024 elections. Looking back to Biden's promises during the 2020 campaign, he outlined four key initiatives related to Social Security. These included raising the special minimum benefit to 25% above the federal poverty line, increasing payments for beneficiaries between ages 78 and 82, changing the cost of living adjustment method to better align with seniors' expenses, and reinstating the payroll tax for those earning above $400,000 per year. However, despite these promises, there's a notable lack of active advocacy from Biden for these Social Security expansions. Some observers question whether Biden genuinely prioritizes Social Security expansion or if these promises were made for political gain. The absence of a vocal push for these initiatives, in contrast to other policy priorities, raises speculation about the president's commitment to these proposed changes. Moreover, there are existing bills, such as Bernie Sanders' Social Security Expansion Act and John Larson's Social Security 2100 Act, that aim to increase benefits and address various issues within the Social Security system. However, the president has not taken a strong stance or actively advocated for these bills, leaving a void in leadership on this crucial issue. Switching gears, the latest round of Social Security checks for November is currently underway, with beneficiaries born between the 21st and 31st of any given month receiving their payments on November 22nd. The article sheds light on the average payments for retirees in 2023, highlighting the upcoming 3.2% cost of living adjustment scheduled for December. SSI beneficiaries, set to receive a 3.2% raise, will see their payments a bit earlier on December 29th. In conclusion, as we navigate the complex landscape of Social Security discussions, it remains to be seen whether Biden will heed the calls to go big on Social Security expansions and actively champion the proposed bills. The upcoming 2024 election adds a layer of urgency to these considerations, and the stance taken on Social Security could play a crucial role in shaping public perception. I hope you found this comprehensive update informative and valuable. If you did, a like and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to bringing you more updates in the next video.